Hi friends, thank you so much for stopping by or welcome to another video. If you're new to my channel, or welcome, I am your host Arelis. Now, I don't know about you guys how the weather is in your part of the woods, but in the past five, six weeks, we've had a spring, summer, fall and winter all together so i am in a desperate need of some permanent sunshine i cannot wait for spring to get here but uh, the way i roll i need to get all my diys done before i can actually start decorating for spring i don't know about you guys but anyway this video i'm going to share with you a thrift flip and a trash to treasure. So if you are uh, if you are interested in seeing uh, what I'm gonna do, then stay tuned. I'm starting off with a thrift flip. I got these two flower pots. I thrifted them uh, years ago and actually they were or they are a set of three. I also have a larger one and I do think I paid I think it was five euros for the entire set and I absolutely love the color but as you know I'm going for a more neutral color and I wanted to flip these to fit my decor better so I decided to spray paint them white and I think they have this perfect beautiful matte finish I also place those protectors underneath it just to protect the surface where I'm gonna be using them now next what I'm gonna be doing I had these curtain rings um, I'm not sure these are if these were like shower curtain rings or just your regular curtain rings but anyway I got these off a I think it was a flea market uh, way 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 back and again i'm gonna repeat this like every video i am going through my stash you guys looking what i have and start doing my project with these i've had these rings for a long time so as you see i remove the inner parts and now i'm going to be gluing them down on my flower pot and as you can see i am keeping the opening of the circle on the inside because uh, we're going to cover that up later on but first i'm going to glue down three of these curtain rings on each side of the flower pot and this is how the flower pot is looking so far after i glued down all the rings on each side and these stones these glass stones i've had these uh, for a while and i thought they would be perfect for this project they are this uh, matte glass and i think they look very pretty with the matte finish of the flower pot and i'm going to be gluing them down in the middle of uh, two rings just to cover up the opening of the rings but also to give it more of a finished look i didn't plan this but i did decide to glue a stone on each corner of the flower pot just to give it more of a cohesive and continuous look and that is just the way how i do my project i just do whatever pops up in my mind and i just go with the flow and here's the end result i absolutely love how beautiful elegant and timeless this trip flip turned out and how easy was it just to create a completely new look from something you already had
And for my treasure treasure project, I am using this wine crate. I had a bunch of these lying around. Like each year I get at least one of them gifted with a bottle of wine. I always save them. So for this project, I'm going to create a planter and I'm starting off by painting it white. And this is what it looks like after two coats of paint and I thought the inside just do one coat since you're not going to see that anyways and I have this placemat it is so pretty this shiny silver and it has two sides but I'm going to be using the light silver side and I'm going to be cutting off some strips to glue down around the edges of the flower box now I measured out and cut off four longer strips for the long sides horizontally, four for the short side horizontally and eight in total for the vertical sides if that makes any sense but you will see that later on and here when I show you I wanted to show you the different size or the different sides of the placemat a darker side and a lighter one and i'm definitely loving the lighter one better so that is the side i'm going to be using up Now I'm not sure if the camera is really picking this up but some of the strips were a tad bit too long so I used my exacto knife to cut off the excess pieces. Now for the eight vertical pieces I'm going to be cutting them off uh, piece by piece because I want them to be a very tight fit so I'm cutting them off just slightly bigger than the space they're going to fit in And this is what it's looking like so far and I thought since no one is going to see the bottom why bother doing anything to it but anyway I had this pack of uh, white glass mosaic tiles lying around I thought it would be perfect for this project like I said I just go with the flow just see what I have and even though they had this netting in the back that made it uh, really handy because I am going to glue these tiles down with a space in between I decided to cut off the netting just because it gave it more of a finished look now I started off with a piece of painters tape with um, just <laughs> oh my gosh I started off with a piece of painters tape uh, just to mark off the space I'm going to be gluing down the tiles now like I mentioned I never uh, um, I never measure out anything I just eyeball it and it doesn't work out for the best but I will try to make it work now uh, a tip that I got for you is search your thrift store your goodwill for accessories you can find some very affordable pieces that you can use in your diy so i got these necklaces for 25 cents and i'm going to be using the large acrylic um, 
gems, circles, balls, or whatever these are, I'm going to be using them as a feet for my planter. And all of the other stuff I'm going to keep for another project. These are the four large pieces that I'm going to be using for the feet of the planter. And this is how the tiles are looking. And as you can see, the spaces are larger than uh, what I started off with. And what I came across while I pulled the necklace apart are these small acrylic uh, pieces. And I thought these were perfect to place right in the middle of the or in the spaces in the open spaces between the tiles now like i said that is the way i work i just go with the flow i don't always know what the exact outcome of my project is gonna be but that is what makes it so much fun for me so i decided to glue these down in the middle and i thought they gave it such a great impact and you will see at the front side you don't see it all that much but as you look down to it or from the side it has like this three dimensional look. And for the final step, I am gluing down the small acrylic pieces and this project is done. And this is the end result and I am so satisfied with how this turned out. Especially the surprise of these little small acrylic pieces in between the spaces of the tiles. So you see, just go with the flow and do what pops up in your head. Because that is how I do it and everything works out in the end eventually. So that is it. Thank you so, so much. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And of course, if you like this type of content, then sure do not hesitate go ahead and click on that subscribe button i would love to have you as a resident of my happy home so for now thank you again so so much for watching and i hope to see you again in my next one really really soon until then always remember to live laugh love and stay safe bye